Howdy, howdy there, folks. I am back once again after the usual break over the weekend where I work myself to death at a serving job for about 30-ish hours, 36 max. Anyways, hi. <laughs> Uh, heads up, I am a little on the sick side right now. I seem to have caught another thing, much to my dismay. Like, that's just the thing, man. Like, ever since I've moved to where I am right now, I have gotten sick quite possibly the most often I ever have in my life. 
Because I have, like, I'm not joking when I say I have a good immune system. Everyone around me could be sick and I just wouldn't catch anything. But these days, it's just like, ah, you've existed for, like, 30 minutes outside of your room. Um, here's a new sore throat for you. It's very obnoxious. But it is what it is. Hmm. So just if I sound a little off, that's why. I'm gonna try to not sniffle into the microphone like 500 times. I will attempt to mute myself, um, should I have to. Let me double check my mute button actually works. Yes, it does. <laughs> this is making sure I remembered it, because this microphone doesn't have a mute button, unfortunately. I had to rig one in OBS itself, so hopefully that works out. Hmm. Uh, that works like a charm. <laughs> anyway, there's not much chatting today because I'm very, very excited to just get right into things. <laughs> I have been, li I've literally been thinking about just playing Undertale Yellow more, like all. <laughs> like, I, like literally, Undertale Yellow has been the only thing on my mind lately. It's the only thing I think about. I I have listened to a Mother's Love on loop, like the entire time I was at school today. It was great. That is one of the best tracks I've ever heard uh, in a video game in a long time. Nothing has made me feel that way in a long fucking time. Uh, I'm trying to remember. The only song that probably made me feel that way was a song from Persona 4. So it's been at least like three years, four years at this point, actually. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and just get things started, shall we? It's time for genocide. I sure fucking hope that's okay to say on Twitch a bunch. <laughs> I was very apprehensive of putting the word genocide in um in the <laughs> I was very apprehensive of putting that in the title, so I just made a Geno Smash Ultimate joke. Today I learned my X key is a little sticky. This is unfortunate news. Oh shit, it's her. She's getting in the way. The mysterious goat lady scared the frog away. I already know what you say. <laughs> Let's get to the part where I kill things, then I'll start reading dialogue again, maybe. Yeah, I'm not gonna speed run this as hard as I did in neutral. We are not going to do this in a stream because it's genocide's gonna have a lot more different dialogue that I'll wanna read. And there we go. <clears throat> mm. Child, are you all right? That was like a 20 foot drop. You're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way that fucking kid lived that shit. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> that kid dead as hell. I'll have to try again. Wake up. You're not dead. Yet. Just paralyzed. Temporarily. Wait, hold up. Did he say like a bunch of other shit? I completely missed it. <laughs> I, I, I was expecting a tutorial. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, understood. Post neutral has different dialogue. Gotcha. Or maybe that's just the thing they did for like repeated runs. Here we go. Flyer is giving fighting a try. Oh, as am I. Ah, shit. There we go. <laughs> I got so used to the revolver. Now I have to get used to the original again. Even though it's easier. This is why I'm a pro gamer. This is why people watch me on twitch.tv.com.org. <laughs> it's not the revolver. I don't need to go for the middle. I can be fine in the red. Ow. Ow. Yeah, there. 
So this is how it ends? Oh my god. I suck at this. XP and two gold. Hold on. <laughs> I need to save. I sucked. <laughs> Why the long face, pal? Don't worry, this place is way better than up there. That old lady would have just spoiled all our fun. Come on, let's not stand around all day. I think that's the first time I've gone back to that save point specifically. Alright, uh... There we go. And... Okay. So... Boom! Two moves, it's iconic. Uh, we're on a mission. We're on a mission from God, from the surface. Hello. No, too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you. Just hope you know I had no choice. It must be this way. Standing here. I realize. Ah, oh, shit, a human. I must be seeing things. Get back here. I'm on a murder spree. Have you considered adding Gino to Smash Ultimate? For the record, I don't really give that much of a shit about Gino. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've never played Super Mario RPG. He's one, like... I'm not gonna say Super Mario RPG isn't like a very important game in the grand scheme of things, but by God, I feel like Gino gets way too overhyped for how much that game, like... For how... I feel like he's just overhyped for how much I actually see that game talked about, you know? I guess that's just me, though. Anyways. <laughs> the sharpener would come in handy about now. And it looks like she might crack under the pressure. Ugh. Call us AI because we're killing artists. <laughs> Howdy, I see you're still in one piece. You saw it weirder, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though, and if he is, that's why I'm here. Uh. Might have to sneeze. If I mute suddenly, that's why. What's over here again? I forgot. Oh, the lemonade. No, we're going full asshole. I wonder if Fly has a comment. Look, man, you, Flowey, you've never played Skyrim, okay? You don't, you don't know how fucking paranoid I am when it comes to saving. This game could crash on me at any moment. I don't know. Why aren't you happy? I love how much of an active asshole Clover has to be to actually do a genocide round. <laughs> Sweet Corn is trying to stay positive. I'm an Electron, bitch. I already feel bad, by the way. This is me coping. Maybe I should have left it rejected. However, I actually like Candy Corn. This is the real reason I'm doing a genocide route. It's because I'm still pissed that nobody likes candy corn. So I'm taking care of it myself. I feel hurt. There we go. What was that sound? <laughs> was that the sweet release of death? Oh my god, these poor things. The corner's oblivious to her surroundings. Why aren't you happy? I ain't gonna be happy, sweet corn. I'ma be real with you. I don't think I'm gonna be happy this entire round. It's the first love increase. Ugh. So much corn. 
Damn, not one shot. Ah, shit. There we go. Three damage. Wow, I suck. Fuck. I'm getting better at bullets. I'm getting better at bullet hell. I'll be able to play Toho in no time. There we go. You won. Jesus fucking Christ. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? Also, where did all the corn go? I enjoyed life before I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do I you appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. I wonder if Dolv is the one who killed the uh, blue soul human. I think that would be interesting. Roar him. Not scared of bad luck. There we go. That's gonna be an instant level up, I'm pretty sure. Or not. Roaring was an instant level up my last run. Gee, it's getting a little dusty around here, huh? <laughs> He's taking note of it. He's like, hold up, what did I do? What caused this one? <laughs> uh, time to give this one the eternal quiet. Guess the bat makes his presence known. I have a gun. Don't move, don't make a sound. Hush, hush. This is not enjoying the music. Move in silence, hush hush. That was a good one. No, no, noise hurts, noise hurts. The Savat is not enjoying the music. There's another one. Sweet silence, you earn 7 XP and 4 gold, your love increased. Jesus Christ. Howdy, you seem to be doing well, you haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's good to be prepared. Is it flowy? For me? Oh no! I don't want to kill Crispy Scroll. He's, he's just... he is... Probably one of the more likable raw raw weeaboos. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? I would I I would do half of what he does and worse. Live a hero, die a hero. Just trying to teleport away. The only thing instant here is your death, not your transmission. You won, you earned 5 XP and 2 gold. That one hurt. I like that enemy. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> God, I did this one. I just know I bullshit it. Hmm. Why is there a lot of ad gun the popular game lately? What is this? Is this what this year's gonna be? Effectively, welcome to Stream Erratic Pulse. Hope you're having a good day. I don't think I've seen you around before. If you have, apologies for not remembering. Mm. 
but it's good to have someone in here regardless. I'm doing my genocide run today. I already feel bad. <laughs> yeah. In defense, though, in two of the runs, you don't even really use your gun that much. <laughs> uh, God, I'm bad at this puzzle. <laughs> there we go. I just kept mashing things until it finally worked. I need more enemies. I don't want to leave here without, but nobody came. It's a stray feather. Take it. Will do. Gives you a proud feeling. No deaths about this round. Come here, Dalf. Come here. Uh. Well, oh wait, no. Oh, I remember you, Erratic Pulse. Yeah, no, no. I remember you. I recognize your profile pic. Good to see you again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I just checked that real quick. <laughs> um, I don't know who you are, but I ask you, please leave. All right, can I? If I go like from room to room, will that provoke anything? You can say more later, but I need to. I need to find. There we go. Like that. It all seems to be dreading this battle. I wanted him gone, but not that way. Damn. <laughs> I fucking hated that guy. I didn't want him to die. <laughs> Vanilla frantically scraps her flyer sketch. Oh no! Oh no! Dude, they've added so much more to like, uh, the flavor in like the genocide run or just killing monsters in general. Uh, I'll just tape it back together. That's right, keep giving me this attack, it's easy. Move. Looks like she might crack under the pressure. You won, earn 5 XP and 5 gold. Damn, you can't do the thing. You can't do the thing anymore. <laughs> they specifically took it out. You can't do the genocide run trick. You can already feel the cavities. What was that sound? Left side, right side. Left side, right side. You won. Earn 6 XP and that many G. Oh shit, we're done. Not too fond of that whole mercy thing. That's alright, whatever gets you to ask, gore friend. <laughs> they didn't do, but nobody came. They just said, nah, bro, nobody's even here anymore. Like, there ain't, no, like, no, nobody's around. Go home. It's a corn dog. Obtain corn dog. It's a bridge. I don't have a bridge. There's the corn on a cobweb. Howdy, not too far now, just gotta deal with that downer, then you're out of the room. See you on the other side, pal. Alrighty, let's kill Dolph this round. You're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You, you look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough so you hunted me down, right? And I was just starting to accept my reality, the cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only, never mind, words aren't enough. What well, if he's the reason the blue soul human went on a rampage? Rather than he's the one that killed them. 
He's the one who made them like go crazy. Now musters his fighting spirit. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered. That would be easier for the both of us. That was music still goes hard. There we go. Where'd you come from anyway? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Fuck. Dabble students an intimidating facade. Bang bang. All I know is somehow you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not carrying away this time. Intimidating facade. The other monsters. Did you pester them as well? Not that I care to keep up with much with their activity. Uh, pester is one way to put it. That's one way to say it. One way to phrase it. Ah, I'm, I'm afraid of going for the center now because of how many times I missed initially. But despite your beliefs, monsters aren't evil. Shit, that was new dialogue. I missed it. Shit. <laughs> Uh, this is a significant lack of gun in this game. I am literally shooting him with a toy gun. I get a real gun later. <laughs> I literally have gun. <laughs> you just don't see gun. Gun on icon. Gun goes shooty shooty bang bang. Like so. Fuck. Monster kind stands for hope, for good. Everyone here is only trying to find a little joy. They all seem to be in conflict with his more humane side. But I guess you aren't one for joy. Damn, he's just roasting us this time. I wonder if he still says this if you don't get a bad if you don't get a no encounter. Fuck. Who am I kidding? You won't believe me. I'm the one who got hostile first. God. Thou seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Just one more. This isn't some mistake, though. You're fighting on purpose. I kind of want to see more of his dialogue. <sighs> Wants to be left alone. If you refuse to be peaceful, I won't be peaceful either. Despite what I said, us monsters aren't pushovers. And maybe, uh... Playing with fire here, but I really do want to see all this dialogue. I'm losing at this, aren't I? Why am I even wasting my breath? You aren't worth talking to. Is that it? Fuck. So, I'm gonna stop talking to you. Now seem to be in conflict, so is that it? Is that it it? Is that it it it? Yeah. Fuck. Ah! Attacks I should not have dodged for 500. This isn't fair. I'm supposed to get to say my last goodbyes, but I don't have anyone to say goodbye to. It's hard to admit, but I... I guess I've been lying to myself for a while. It did get lonely down here. I've never been good with words. So I'll just say this. Sorry. To everyone. Poor guy.
All right. Mini fridge, it's mostly empty. Oh shit, you can't get the sponge cake? I guess he hasn't pointed out. Fine craftsmanship. Uh, it's a cute, happy little face draw. You wave goodbye to it before closing the door again. Flower pot full of dirt. Little table with built-in drawer, it seems to be locked. We can go in Dolph's room this time. All right, let's see what he's got in here. It's a gramophone. It looks pretty old. Maybe it's a grandma phone. Record label Dalv organ demo is queued up to play. Play it. That is certainly an organ demo. A fine oak chest. Wow, it's lined with high quality satin. There's a book of neatly written paragraphs on the desk. They all appear to be very similar. Read one. Dolv is a loner living in the ruins of home. He enjoys quiet walks in the dark, cleaning and improving songs on his organ. He wants to share with the youth of the underground the importance of being accepting and respecting the wishes of others. The rest of the page is scribbled. Man, literally, literally. <laughs> oh, they literally made this room just so you feel bad. It's a chair. I'm not a musical kind. It's an organ, the musical kind. Looks like Doll's Diary. This could contain private information. Read it, yes. There's only one entry. It seems new. The day began like every other day. I got out of bed, brushed my fangs, and had a nice bowl of corn for breakfast. Pops made a very funny joke at Broom's expense, and we all had a laugh. I put on my cloak and went out for my daily walk. I noticed another blue corn had popped up in your cornfield today. I always feel bad for discarding the special corn, but I can't risk getting sick. Anyways, something interesting happened a bit later. I overheard Flyer and Panilla talking about me. About us. They said they were concerned for me. They said that I talked to myself. Panilla then chimed in and commented on my advice and gifts to you. My signs. They said you don't exist. That isn't true. You do. I know you do. You reached out to me when I needed it most. Helped me cope with the past. How could they be so mean? What do they know? I don't need them. Because... Because I have you. It's been one year. I'm still waiting. The entry ends there. What did Dolph do? I should. I really should have gone and talked to him during Pacifist. Comfy looking bed. Well worn broom. Locked. Not having the sponge cake sucks, but whatever. <sighs> Thank you, Fluey. Howdy! Were you expecting that? I'm a little more helpful than you thought. Anything you can't do by yourself is my job. Anyway, great job getting through here. Boy, am I glad to be on your side. Get ready, because we have a long journey ahead. This is going to be so much fun. I'll see you on the other side, pal. Ugh. Let's go. Ugh. I would love a Soroba mod for Yomi Hustle. Dude, that would actually be sick. I've I've been thinking I've I already talked about it at the beginning of the stream. I talked about it too, but my god, I've been listening to a mother's love so fucking much. Anyways, welcome in Uno. Good to see you again. I'm doing genocide today. And now my outline is changed to blue. I no longer ignore I am no longer the lack of color anywhere on me. I'm just cold. I mean, there's an Asgore Toriel mod. Yeah, I've seen it. It actually looks fucking rad. <laughs> they did a really good job on it. <laughs> Congratulations on being rid of those old runes for good. You couldn't go back even if you wanted to. It's in the thought of fresh or exciting. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. Get moving. And actually, what was your name again? It isn't Bud. It's a gun hat. That's right. It is... Well, gun hat, enough talk. See ya. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? Bitch, do you want me to die? 
I mean, I know you want me to die, but like, do you want me to die? <laughs> Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. I was wondering if they might have different dialogue. Plus the fucking phase two Toriel versus Determined Soroba would be a lag fest. <laughs> that would that would be true. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna kill Frost Servant. No. No. I don't wanna. Why did him? Why did he have to show up today? It's not fair. He should have stayed home. Neutral! We already did neutral! I don't want to do it again! Fuck. Uh. Fine. Uh, igloo, igloo. Just pretend it's just an igloo, guys. Just pretend it's just an igloo. Damn it. Igloo, igloo, that's right. It's just an igloo. It's just an igloo. I'm just destroying an igloo. I, I, that's all I'm doing. I'm just, I, it's just an igloo. Just a normal igloo. That's all it is. Just an igloo. Igloo, igloo. Just an igloo. It's, it's just an igloo. Fuck! It's just an igloo. It's just an igloo, 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 it's just an igloo. That's all it is, it's just an igloo, it's just an igloo, it's just an igloo, it's just an igloo. 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 <laughs> igloo, igloo. <laughs> it's just an igloo. I don't see shit. I don't see the igloo move one bit. Because it's an igloo. Nothing else. There's no really cute fucking hermit crab inside. There ain't nothing. Don't worry, do muds and serve a reason I can't do Gino. How do I explain I specifically went on my way to kill Dune Buds in my neutral run? Because I hated their attack patterns and their method of sparing. How do I explain that? I mean I did, but how do I do it in a way you're not going to kill me right now? You won, you earned 20 XP and 5 gold, your love increased. I might need to sneeze. There's something. There's something coming. Stop it! Stop torturing me! Enough! I've had enough! I've suffered enough! Leave me be! Uh... Uh, why? They're like little SCP-999s made of sand. They make serotonin like SCP-999. Their attack patterns suck, and the way to spare them is vague as fucking shit. I hate them no matter what run I'm doing, because I never remember how to spare them, and I have to deal with annoying-ass patterns the entire time. <laughs> Fuck Dune Buds. I hate them. I don't care how cute they are. Uh, 20 XP, by God. It should be 100 for how much I have to not feel to kill a Froster. Man. They sound like SCP-999. Keter duty for you. Ke Keter these nuts. Or something. I don't know. 
Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check. I know it's an SCP joke. <laughs> Dangerous SCPs are called. Yeah, I know. I do know SCP stuff. Don't don't get me wrong. I know what I know what SCPs are. I got put, I got put. There was a VTuber made a VTuber tier list of like uh where VTubers would be in um SCP rankings, and I was a Paul. And he put me on a poly on. I was very honored. I can end the world if I just feel like. I can just end the entire world and fuck up all the weather if I just feel like it one day. Don't test me with my hatred for dune buds. Where's the next save point? Hey you, can you help me off this pole? I've been here for two hours now. With help. Sarah is the other reason I can't do genocide. She's been kicked enough. To be honest, as much as I love Soroba, kind of a shitty mother. She was way too okay with doing the experiment on uh, Kanako. <laughs> like, she was way too willing to do that. That being said, still like my favorite character in the game. I'm just saying. <laughs> she kind of she kind of did everything to herself. All right, let's see here. Just grind right now. Fucking Somnitot. One of the few things I killed on neutral. <laughs> uh, I'm not tired, you are. Fuck. Ow, now I have a headache. Damn it. There we go. You know, Chujin gave her a pretty much impossible task. I'm sure the only two boss monsters are Asgore and Toriel. I mean, yeah, I do know that. It's just like, it was just like, just how willing she was to like, go through with that, you know? <laughs> like, finding a willing boss monster isn't the king or Asgore, the Uncrest, pretty fucking hard. I know that. <laughs> but using your own daughter. <laughs> mm. I mean, she, she thought she had confidence in it. She thought it was going to work. But it's also like you're not a scientist, Soroba. <laughs> you you you're not to my knowledge, you aren't a scientist. You were you were using like Chujin's notes and shit, but he wrote those notes. He wrote the subject matter. And convincing and Soroba is a tad bit gullible. True. True, true. Hold on, I need to grab more water. Yeah, no, I'm not saying I hate, like, Soroba or anything. <sighs> uh, I do think she has a very good, like, character and everything. If it means anything, I like her more than Toriel. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to grind out monsters until, uh... Because I want to go up to Mo. <laughs> As a murderous maniac. Just an igloo, 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 just an igloo. There we go. Igloo noises. Damn it. Like, look at Kanako's face for two sons and tell me you wouldn't allow her to get a cookie from the cookie jar. Getting a cookie from the cookie jar is very different to sticking a syringe into your soul. <laughs> With an, exper like, an experimental syringe into your soul. 
Those are two very different things, Uno. Those are two drastically different things. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> I know why, boys, you can't say no to that face. If it wants to hurt itself, that's a different story. <laughs> uh. Would you let that face perform surgery on itself? No. <laughs> Like, can I please perform the brain surgery on myself? Can I, remo can I remove the cancerous tumor from my lungs by myself, mommy? No! You can't do that! You're fucking 12! <laughs> <laughs> Too tired to find the right words to honor its fallen friend. Uh... I literally just walked right into that one. You won 36 and 10. Still doing great, pal. All right, let's just keep going. Stop. Go away. Stop running into me. Igloo, igloo. Just an 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 igloo. <laughs> Can I please perform the brain surgery on myself, mom? <laughs> that, that's just funny to me. But you don't have to lean on me so much for emotional support. You can believe in yourself a little too, pal. Bro, I'm paranoid. Have you played Skyrim? What's this? A new customer. I'm for my favorite character to voice. Damn. Who am I? No being note, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham, I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you try to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. No, you don't. Liquid solar season. Solid pot season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And you know, I haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I haven't been next week's for the incredible low price of 15G. You have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once born old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen in the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? You sure you don't want one? You have to keep it at times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Uh, hot pop. Sure. Uh. Oh shit, I need to go get the frozen ammo. I just remembered. No cone hit thing with cub. Golf fun for no cone. I did not know this attack was no cones. No cone hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Pain bad. There we go. Twenty-four XP and seven gold. All right, let me go grab this. I read something in the book once. Life comes at you too fast. Die. Uh. Or kill. One or the other. Gun is now cold to the touch. I so I love voicing Mo so much. 
to the point where I get stuck on his voice and I can't voice any other fucking characters. I just hit myself. No code encounters you and an igloo. Ow, I mean igloo noises. There we go. Oh well. <laughs> what the fuck was that? No cone, no like small stranger. There we go. I guess I'll just grind here again. I really want to get more genocide dialogue. So. Now, now I have a headache. Fuck. Wow, I just sucked. There we go. Oh, what? I think I nodded off. There we go. I pressed my fucking Windows key. <laughs> Don't need to be so crass, you fucking ass. Snow castle, you open the doors. Your head shouldn't hurt too much. I want to see this Matryoshka doll through the end. No more encounters, because I couldn't behave. Not that I necessarily am, but... <sighs> Ice Wolf's training arc. Uh, is it even legal to give me mail, sir? I'm a mail whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us. We're the best. For short, just call us UGPS. Alright, I thought they weren't rhyming because they were so scared. His dialogue was slightly different. Hello again. There we go. I don't know. Something about it felt different. Howdy. Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. You want to hurt a personal space unless someone can mail you to Asgore? I don't see why you need him. There we go. I re Is there any way I could go? I, w I want to have higher love. Because I feel like I should be having more different dialogue. So I'm just gonna like... I'm literally just gonna keep backtracking until I like... Maybe encounter more shit. Hello, Mo. Best character. Next to Frost Dermot. Like, I, I, it would be so cool if there was, like, dialogue for the guy that's stuck to the pole. I know there is encounters in this one. There we go. I'm figuring out it's my area rather than the whole, like, vicinity. There we go. So it's like by screen rather than by Snowdom. I'm 
low-key, low-key, I am tempted to restart the run just for the purposes of operating how I know it's supposed to now. Because I didn't think it would be like this. I thought it would be like or original Undertale. But it makes sense. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense that it's like this now. Fuck. There we go. But if you played Undertale first, it's not going to be completely clear. But I guess that's why they made it easier to... They made... I know that Je you slip into Genocide on Love 12. There we go. Love eight. That's what I capped out on on my uh, neutral run. All right, that's it for this area. It does seem we have the ad coming up, so I'll go ahead and have things switch over for just a bit. So y'all go ahead, stand up, stretch, get some snacks, get some water, do whatever y'all need to do. And we'll get back to our little uh, quest for justice here in a second. So with all that being said, Bye for now.
Okie dokie, welcome back everybody. Hope we had a good break. I'm feeling the urge to sneeze again, and I can't wait for it to just spontaneously vanish like the last like five times it's happened. This one's feeling stronger though. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, I got a cough. I got a cough out of it. I got a cough out of my current condition. Lovely. Huh? I don't get relief, I just get slight inconvenience. Okie dokie. Back on our quest. Uh. Uh. This is where the last frost dermots were. No need to be so crass, you ass. That was a bad idea. Why did I do that? You won! They didn't. They're dead. Y'all like the sounds of my keyboard as I just walk in a circle? Y'all like that sweet, sweet, not mechanical keyboard ASMR? Because I don't have a mechanical keyboard. For real, like... I just... I never got the mechanical keyboard hype. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Maybe I'm just uncultured. I probably am, but like... I just... I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Alrighty, there we go. Oh well. <laughs> I kind of see like blue and orange attacks and I'm like compelled to go into them because I, it's like my mind just goes like blue attack, stop moving. I have to like go and deliberately dodge it. <laughs> there we go. That was a perfect one. Fuck. Eh. Ow. Uh, another one bites the dust. Aha, funny joke. Damn it. I think that might be everything. Yeah, that's everything. That is everything I can kill at this moment in time. In Snowden, at least. Or the areas I've been in Snowden, rather. Just go up all the way. Mo is still not scared of me. I want him to be. I want to voice scared Mo. That'd be kind of funny. What you waiting around for? You have a job to do. Indubitably. All right, shufflers. Hey, watch it. Swig toast come over here. I don't think we would have that much love even if we did kill everything in the ruins. Ooh. Just cause and nothing there gave a, like a lot. <clears throat> I think the most we got was like Roram. Everything else I'd like I think we'd be at best like at love 10 right now. So I don't think we'd see like that much like unique dialogue. You put a lid on it. Name's Refill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to be civil. Calm down, will ya? But I want to attack him. Alright, let's go ahead and start it off. Middle. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. The left, the left, uh, no. middle.
I'm sure y'all are gonna still be my friends when I kill all your loved ones, right? You're doing good, kid. That don't let it go to your head. The left. It's always the left. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shufflers, let's go. Puh. Honeydew Resort. Let me go grab golden coffee. Actually, hold up. Forget the golden coffee. It only increases my speed. You feel familiar? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, hello. I ain't find this. Sorry's regular gig. Is this it? Not my favorite, though. <laughs> Alright, what about this one? We're gonna RNG our way into this. Definitely my favorite hand sound. It's fucking annoying, dog. Fuck you. Fan merch pin. That one's super I don't use it only with solo content hey, David at the dump that one time. Man, that was so grungy. Five. A band commemorating a concert you didn't go to. I guess the honeydew pin does less. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know about that. We'll buy that. See ya. There's jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A big crowd for my taste. At least it keeps things interesting. Get rid of the feather. There we go. So many of these swirly rocks around. And I can't interact with them. Such a shame. Oh shit, I'm about to just kill it in front. I'm about to just kill this fucking Somnitan in front of this guy. Oh lord. <laughs> Literally just killing him. <laughs> in cold blood in front. I wonder if there's dialogue for this. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd head down to Heading to Resort and get some coffee. Homie, I'm committing mass murder in front of your eyes, and all you can complain about is the weather. There we go. Uh, I know you know like small stranger. Small stranger no like you. Small stranger no like anyone. All these circles make a circle. All these circles make a circle. All these circles make a circle. All right, I'm gonna kill No Cone first. I was really hoping I could one shot him. There we go. He wasn't that annoying. <laughs> even even Frost Hermit breaks the facade for that. <laughs> oh, you pure, pure boy. Frost Hermit doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he also doesn't know how to keep his text in the typography, in the typography box. <laughs> he doesn't know how to keep it in the box. Ugh. Igloo, igloo. 
Oh, it's a pure soul. Frost Termits are the best character in the game. I want I I want a Frost Termit plushie. Unironically, I want it to like I want it to like unzip or something, and you can like turn it into like a normal Frost in, into like the revealed Frost Termit. I I I, I want. I want Frost Dermot merch so badly. God damn. I was just I was just in the worst position there. Dude, react to the things I am doing. Does he have anything to say now? Yep, just complaining about the weather. Just complaining about the weather. Anything around here? Just gonna double check. Yeah, I don't think there is. All right. Damn it. This is so sad. Man, I still really need to sneeze. Oh, come on! I was tricked. It's okay, only two failures. It's iconic. Never mind. <laughs> uh. Neutral, I got through this first try. Clearly, I need to be more ambivalent towards good and evil to clear this. Do I want to say visually? It's so weird, like, seeing this on my, uh, the screen I'm playing on, and then, like, yeah, the corner of my eye, seeing the stream, and just, like, all this, all these moving parts just at once. It's trippy. Nothing here. Oh, there we go. Try Hecta. I'm on top of the world. Didn't be pushing each other's buttons. You guys are clinging on tight, right? Oh God. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I won't let us fall. They did good on the animation there. All right, now we grind. I really want to try to get to level twelve to love twelve before Martlet. I really want to. Such a hard attack to dodge. I don't even have to fuck. <laughs> I'm the king of the castle. Woot. Please let me down now. I, dude, now I'm wondering. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the fucking bone. What were the chances of that attack happening earlier? That shit bounced back and forth like at least five times. Hold on, I'm calculating this. Hold up. <laughs> what did I what did I just witness? 
What did I just witness? Okay, so it's a 30, it's a one third chance. It's a one third chance of that shit happening. On each bounce. It was like between five or seven times that that happened. So. 0 0.3. And we'll just. Two. So times it by itself like five times. That was a point. Four chance of that occurring. If I bump that up to seven, the so one over three, seven. <laughs> Dude, hold up! Oh my god, it had it, it broke out. It broke out the notation negative on me. Shit, where where's a paper so I can actually like physically see what that is? Fuck, where's my pen? Forgot where I put my pen. I think it's over here. Hold on. Okay, I got it. Well, technically, it's just going to be... We're going to move the decimal place over two more times, so... It's really just going to be... Yeah, there was a... 0.04% chance of that happening <laughs> if it was like at max at max it was a 0.04% chance of that happening that many times <laughs> dude what is my luck Jesus Christ uh. That is such small odds. I'm in awe. Careful, okay? Or maybe it wasn't small odds. Never mind. It was it, it was small odds. Get that out of there. And wrap this one up. I want to get to love 12 so badly. I don't think it's going to happen though. So the most I can do is like 58 damage. Cause I got both those in the little circle and I still only did that much. Personally, I think Trihecta should be 75 execution points. Because it's three things. Can Somnitot should just be nothing, because fucking Somnitot. Oh god, I'm bad at that attack. Alright, I hit love 9. And no more encounters for this stream. Uh, I'm doing my best here, bro. Let me at least check the screen. I don't think there's anything. It's so small. Never mind.
Yeah, funny number. So I'm two shotting like no matter what, so it's not even worth going for the middle. Really gonna try to get to low really, really gonna try to get to love twelve before Martlet. Here we go. Wait, when the fuck did I turn on Christmas? I mean, I guess it's the mat. Oh, wait, it was probably when I was fucking with the calculator. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I, always, I always accidentally turn on Christmas mode. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, it fits because we're in Snowden, but like, still. Okay, not that one. There we go. Remove all items from scene. There we go. No normal dragon. Normal dragon's back. <laughs> I really need a Steam. I, I really need a stream deck, bro. <laughs> so I don't have the the shit map to my goddamn keyboard. Yeah, I, I over I over committed. Uh, get me to love 12, please. 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 Be more insomnitots. They're super easy. Probably closing in on Martlet. Damn it. Make sure there's none in this area. I don't think there's any in puzzle rooms. It's been pretty consistent on that. Yeah. Then down there. Bump you up like that. <sighs> okay, he can keep going, he can keep going. No, he can't. Dude, I feel like speedruns for this game are just gonna perfect this fucking game. <laughs> That'll be funny. They're just gonna perfect this puzzle. This shit's gonna be done in seconds. Here we go. Shit, we're already here. Hey, we're almost out of here. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, time to kill Meryl's wife. Hmm? Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. Seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot. You're human, right? 
Right, right? You look just like this guy on a poster I saw. He had a hat just like you, and he was totally human, so like transitive property or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? How does the underground actually know about space now that I think about it? Hey, so I don't think you grinded. Apparently... Be honest, Meryl. Is it worth starting over? Is it worth starting over for to regrind out the ruins? Because I'm willing to do it. I just want to know just how much worth it it'll be. Because <laughs> uh, I here's the thing. I know you get locked on genocide when you're love 12. And I know that like the... Did you not full clear everyone? Not on the ruins, but I was getting different dialogue from like a uh, Dolph. So I was kind of like, okay, so I think I'm still kind of like on this route. I'll redo it. It's not a big deal. I've gotten here in an hour, 30 minutes. So like, it's just going to be probably like a little over two hours, and I plan to go along today anyways. You can pretty clearly tell when you're doing it right when no more encounters come. I know that. And here's the thing. Here is the thing, Meryl. I did do that. For a single room. I only just discovered it's by room and not by area. When I was like at the end of the ruins. So I thought that I was good. Hit that reset. Okay. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> like, I thought I was good. I didn't think it would d differentiate itself from base Undertale. In that regard. Because why would I assume that? <laughs> it's Undertale. <laughs> I expect the Undertale to kind of behave like Undertale. <laughs> so when the Undertale does not behave like Undertale, I'm confuzzled. I don't know, your preconceptions failed. <laughs> I guess it's because, like, most people would, um... Most people would just want to, um grind out in the first room they can. I was different. I grinded out in the last room I could. <laughs> so when I like grinded out on the last room I was capable of, I was just like, okay, I guess I, I guess I'm good. And then later on I learned it was by room, not by area. Rice doing things backwards as usual, SMH my head. <laughs> I do everything backwards. There we go. On the bright side, I get to read Flowey's dialogue that I missed. But yeah, no, that's what happened. And I was really, really trying to get to Love 12 before Martlet. I was actively going out of my way to try to hit Love 12 before Martlet, but unfortunately. Eh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, no, I'm not opposed to resetting. This is gonna be really quick. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower. Hmm, you look like a pretty confident person. I shouldn't hold you here all day, should I? Wouldn't want to be a hindrance. I'll let you go, but you should know this at least. King Asgore is responsible for everything. Seek him out and do what you must. Also, if you ever run into trouble, I can save for you. All right, there we go. Dark Ruins. All right, I'm doing it right this time. I'm doing it right this time. <laughs> the love 12 thing is also an accurate kill everything in every room. Okay. So I got incorrect information too. Cool. There are no encounters in this room, understood. There are encounters in this room. Fuck. <laughs> we're we're do we're doing great. It's just like the beginning of the stream where I couldn't fucking hit on flyer.
God damn it. I'm always in the wrong place at the wrong time. On the bright side, Meryl, you can see me do genocide from the very start now, so this kind of works out. <laughs> I know you care about the Undertale Yellow playthrough probably the most. <laughs> so it all works out. Fuck. <laughs> Am I fine to give a minor spoiler on why that Love 12 is a misconception? If it's just minor, sure. 1, 2 XP, 2 gold. Go. Heal myself. There we go. Just gotta keep it cool, keep it cool. Keep it cool, like we're in Snowden again. Steamworks fodder robots don't give XP, you still need to kill them all. How does that explain why the Love 12 is a misconception? Is that just because that's what you're usually at by the time you get to Steamworks or like... I'm getting v I'm confuzzled. I am slightly perplexed. Just gotta keep it cool. There we go. Oh, I have love 12 gets. That's it for now. La di da proceeds to skip encounters. I guess. The thing is, the video I saw, like, said, and you get locked on genocide when you hit love 12, which I think is stupid. So it implies that he hit it on accident. So... That made me think, like, okay, that's how the game works, I guess. Good, good for, good for them. Ugh. That's literally just a lie. <laughs> I guess so. Why would people lie on the internet? Why would people lie when giving their thoughts on a game? Okay, there we go. Uh. Well, thank you for coming in before. Thank you for coming in before I committed too much to the game, Meryl. <laughs> I would have been fucked that way. Okay, counters are in this room. Good to know. Yay, we're one-shotting. Oh, it also didn't help that Flowey, like, made a comment that things were getting pretty dusty and that I wasn't fond of that whole mercy thing. So that also made me think that I was on genocide. So, like, there were just a lot of things in general making me think I was on the route for genocide, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, keep this up, please. Also, I have not missed any rooms with encounters yet, right, Meryl? I'm sure you'll tell me if I do, but I do want to double check right now. Mm. 
I'm just gonna do circles in every room I enter, and if I don't get anything for like a solid like 10 seconds or something, then I'll assume there's just no encounters in this room. Like right here. I would have totally encountered something by this point. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No, too forward. Huh? Who? Your judgment should work well for encounters. If you run into one monster crossing it, there are more. Gotcha. Some of the rooms are really quick, though. Like, insanely quick. <laughs> Like, I ran into one on accident in one room, and that room also had an NPC in it. Which, in all honesty, I would assume is, like, a decent indicator that a room is safe with an NPC in it. Sometimes. That wasn't a thing in Undertale, so I'm just being schizophrenic on that one. But alrighty. More flyers, please. They're really easy. Uh, let's do Panilla first. I want to see the dialogue. Fuck. The motivation is really dying. Sharpener would come in handy right now. Let's not die. God. God. Oh. She was my friend, I think. Ah. 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 Oh, no. I might die. It might be Jover. Speaking of speaking of hip slang, what I just said. There we go. You won. Love increase. That's good. Me. You'll find the last save. Holy shit, the last save was far back. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah. Like, that line combined with other shit just made me think that, yes, I am on genocide. Dolph saying that I was, like, being way too violent and that he wasn't gonna back down also contributed. Oh, there was one right here. I was literally in a save room. I'm so smart. Okay, we're definitely on genocide now. God, when do I get a dance emote? Oh, that's a bop. Who thought mass murder could be such a headbanger? Thank you for coming in at the right time, Meryl. Oh, dude, this goes hard. For future searching this track is enemy or treating. I actually have glossed over the OST titles and I didn't see this one. I was like, oh, I can't wait to hear the, whatever this is in game. 
By God, am I glad I did. Uh, I almost didn't want to kill her just so I could keep hearing the music. And that's it there. You've really got some passion there. There's only five of the monsters left, not counting the weirdo. Good luck, pal. There we go. There's no lemonade left. All right. Damn, I don't even get to hear it for very long. Let me grab candy corn. You see? Oh, it gets slower every time. I didn't notice that. That one friend with the slowed reverb playlist. All right, there we go. Hmm. The real reason I'm on a genocidal war path. Nobody respects candy corn. I'm getting revenge. I'm, I, it's justice because everyone has poor fucking taste. Thank you very much for telling me this, Meryl. And it seems to be dreading this battle. I wanted him gone, but not that way. Fuck. <laughs> That was, that was just me being bad. Oh, it was like, yeah, this is a bop. And then, uh, not a bop anymore. I'll just tape it back together, fuck. Uh, been lurking the whole time, but also busy. As soon as I heard time to kill Meryl's wife, I looked over and thought, hmm, this isn't the right scene. Speaking of busy, I gotta get some rest for early circumstances. Not a problem, Meryl. Uh, you go ahead and you get all the rest you need. I'm very glad, I'm very glad you spoke up when you did. Otherwise, we, I would be sitting here wondering what the fuck is going on. I just wind up on a fucking neutral route. So, yeah, th thank you, thank you for being here at all. Otherwise... This would have been almost a complete waste of time. So thank you very much. So you go get all the rest you need. Well, that was something. You're a lot stronger than I gave you credit for. Those monsters never stood a chance against your skill. What's with that face? Don't even think about killing me too. Remember, I'm the one keeping you alive. Your life is in my hands. Don't worry, I won't judge you for your actions. Friends don't judge each other, right? I have your back and you've got mine. So let's get out of here, okay, pal? There we are. Is it wrong to hold that in my actions? I enjoyed life before, I did, but I can't go back. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. Okay, hold on, I need to uh, pull it up brave real quick. Kill until there are no more left to kill, gotcha. Will do. But nobody came. 
Ah, uh, sure, it's quiet around here. I gotta say, it's a bit nice with no disturbances. Well, nothing left to do here. Guess let's keep going. Bro, he didn't even show up. Homie didn't even show his face. He ain't about that. But nobody came. Brute force it until I get it right. Same thing as always. I have no idea how that last one worked. There we go. This is like, I know his face changed, does his walk different too? You got a proud feeling, uh, that's one way to put it right now. He ain't here. Man ain't here, bro. <laughs> Walked right up, no hesitation. Um, I don't know who you are, but I ask you, please leave. Horn dog. There we go. Now we're doing, now this is genocide. This is real genocide hours. When you're out of the ruins, see you on the other side, pal. Alrighty. You're still following me? Well, I made clear I want to be left alone. I understand you. You look just like them. Hunted me down, right? Just starting to accept my reality. Whatever I did to you was not my intention. Words are enough. I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home. I will not allow it. Uh, Only one thing to do. Uh, 22. Iconic. You know, it's been quieter since you showed up. I suppose I should thank you. That was seems intimidating facade. I finally got my wish. Or maybe it was just happenstance. That was seems... Everywhere I go, dust keeps clinging to my cape. I'm sorry to assume, but they're all gone, aren't they? New dialogue, finally! I know I should thank you, and it is what I asked for, but I never wanted to hurt anybody. I can't help but think it's my fault. Maybe my wish brought you here? Maybe I just need to take a nap. When I wake up, you'll be gone, won't you? Yeah, you're just a ghost of my memories.
Hey, if you aren't real, then is all this actually my fault? I miss them all now. Now seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Vanilla once drew me a sketch of a sweet corn cob. I never thanked her. One time, sweet corn gave me a hug for no reason. I told her to never do it again. They were the closest things I ever had to friends. But now... I... I think I believe you're real now. <laughs> I have grown awfully tired, but... If I sleep, then wake up, this won't be undone. So maybe... Maybe I... Just won't wake up. See if there's new dialogue. Childish picture scattered on the table. Tacky looking black wardrobe. There's a balloon floating slowly inside you. Untie and inhale some of the contents. Jesus Christ, you now sound funny. You no longer sound funny. Cheap mini fridge. Nothing inside looks remotely edible. A table. Dirt. A little table with a drawer. A painting. It's lacking corn realism. A broom. The wood is splintered. A little table with a drawer. An old gramophone. You spare yourself by not playing the record on it. An organ. It seems horribly out of tune. Contain private information. Read it. You open the diary up. Alright, and we read this last time. There's no reason for that to change. The diary ends there. Fine oak chest. There's a neatly written paragraphs on the desk. They all appear to be very similar. Doesn't even read it. Oh, quiet. There we go. Howdy. Were you expecting that? I'm a little more helpful. Good job getting through there. Alrighty. Let's go. Actual genocide run now. Hmm. The real deal. Okie dokie, we are um, approaching the next ad for right now, so I'm going to go ahead, just get us on a break for a bit. Y'all do all the things you usually need to do, get some drinks, get some snacks, use the bathroom, stand up, stretch, do whatever y'all humans need to do, and we'll be back in just a minute to, uh, do genocide for real this time, so, yep, y'all have a good one, and bye, bye for bye. now.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break. Uh, let's go ahead and just get ourselves back on. By the way, I never noticed these bushes, and I don't know how I didn't do that. Because I was just going through, and I was like, huh. That's new. Uh, howdy, enjoying the scenery? Before you continue, just want to let you know no one from out here really goes into the ruins. Now that we're out here, well, how should I put it? No one will ever notice a few missing monsters and a little extra dust. All your actions up till now, they're as good as sealed away. Our little secret. So if you want, you could change everything right now. Round and round the rest of the underground like nothing happened. Just remember, killing some lonely ruins residents was one thing. But you're outside now, pal. There's no erasing anymore, so think carefully. Or don't, because that sounds boring. Whatever you pick, I'm rooting for you, pal. Been thinking over what I said? Do respect the decision make to your decision making process. But would you mind hurrying it up? It's cold out here and I don't fancy freezing. Alright, let's go talk to them. The atmosphere seems colder than expected around here. Maybe this trip wasn't a good idea. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this honeymoon spot. Doesn't really feel safe here. I can't tell my wife though, it would just upset her. You feel heat coming off the pile of stones. An annoying boulder blocks the cave. Let's go ahead and double check this room real quick. Alright, I think we're good. This room, though. Just an igloo. Just an igloo. Just an igloo. Ugh, I'm gonna try and get through snow as fast as I can. You won. Yeah, I don't know how that fucking Love 12 thing got spread around like that, you know? It's such a specific number. On top of everything else, it's just odd. But I don't know how that occurred. Fuck. Igloo's making distress noises. And love increased. Just never let the frost dermot come out and I'll never feel bad. It's just an igloo. Just an igloo. Just an igloo. <laughs> just an igloo. <laughs> just an igloo. <laughs> There we go. I'm blue. Just got to power through best I can. Real shame though I wasted the first hour and a half on stream on accident. But you know... You, you fuck with how the genocide run works. You fuck with how the genocide run works, of course this happens. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I was like dumb for like accidentally not doing genocide when I was intending to. Because it was, it wasn't very clear compared to base Undertale. I always do everything backwards. It's just like Meryl said. Hmm. 
I just thought I could do it at the end. Because <laughs> I wanted to just make progress. But unfortunately not. Get rid of the patch. No patches. Not here. Alright, this room had things in it. I remember that. I still love the music for Snowden. Fuck. I should get like a I should get like a level of love every single time I kill Froster because of how much it hurts me on the, on the inside. But I feel I feel like you're able to like hear it in my voice that I'm kind of <laughs> that I'm kind of becoming apathetic to it. <laughs> I've become much less emotional over it. Fuck. The most emotion in my voice right now is whenever I miss a shot, fuck, and get hit like that. Fine, everything's fine. Stay away from me, snowflakes. Winter was a couple months ago. Technically, it still is winter, never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm kind of dumb. Nothing but frost hermits. There we go, two-shotting, finally. Just, like, everyone knows that as you kill more people with your gun, your gun gets stronger. I guess you could say his aim is getting better. My wife still misses me. But her aim is getting better. But her aim is getting better. You see, it's funny because marriage is terrible. <laughs> I was never that big on like, uh, like don't get me wrong, I liked Gravity Falls, but I wasn't like super, super into it. I was kind of, I'm, it, it, it's fuck. <laughs> this is why I don't talk. <laughs> this is why I don't talk when I'm shooting my gun. Anyways, um, the thing is, with um. With me, but like a lot of like bigger media, I tend to mostly be a passive observer. My my really really big interests have always been like niche or shit. I guess it's because when I'm really into something, I like that. My interest kind of fluctuates by how much I have to go out of my way to find content related to it. So in the case of like something like Kirby back in the day, around the return of Dreamland, fuck. Around the return to Dreamland era. Like, um, Kirby wasn't like that big at the time. It was starting to become big. It was starting to become much bigger than it used to be. But it wasn't like super in your face and everywhere. Like, getting merch was like super difficult, amongst other things. Um, and like I I distinctly remember like the Kirby subreddit, which is kind of what's become like the biggest Kirby community that and, and the, it, its discord server um, That shit just kind of Thinking um, That shit used to look a lot different and it was a lot less inactive It wasn't until cardboard boxer the current head mod of the subreddit that things like started to pick up in terms of that and prior to that like the main like kirby thing was like kirby rainbow resort what i'm getting at here is simply just there wasn't a lot of places to like be a kirby fan you know that's more that's what i'm getting at you had to go out of your way to find that kind of thing and like when you have to go out of your way to find things for content that you like, you're kind of more incentivized to like become much more fuck. You're kind of incentivized to become like a lot more invested in it. Because you have to do more to find it. 
Like, it's kind of a feedback loop, because you do have to be, like, invested enough to, like, seek that shit out. That's the case with any fandom. But it's just, like, when you have to go out of your way more, it, like, it, it, it's, like, a just a repeat effect. It, it's just a loop. But it's, like, a balance, too, because if, like, there's literally nothing, then you just kind of have to you cope. Oh, yes, finally. I saw everyone running away from something. I want to follow them, but I can't. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Nothing in here. Running around, running around, running around, running around. Nothing. Let me double check the puzzle room here. Yeah, cause like, um, there's another like game I like, Wonderful 101, which has gotten more, uh, attention since the whole Kickstarter. However, at, originally, like, there wasn't a lot of like, Wonderful 101 stuff, and when you only have a single game in your series, like, it's a lot harder to like, do that. Seriously, dude, I swear on my life these bushes weren't fucking here. I swear to you, these bushes weren't here. Why are there suddenly bushes? I don't get it. There's just bushes now. Thought I saw some dust lying around. Might have just been snow. At least that's what everyone else would think. No, like, unironically, these bushes were not fucking here. You cannot convince me these bushes were here. I do not remember having to navigate around bushes here. I swear to you. I'm not Delulu. But they're just never paying attention. But they're just never paying attention. Like, no, like, for real. I, I just, I don't remember these bushes. They feel new. Let my little feet. Let my, let my little feet go. I'm sure that I'm sure nobody's getting motion sickness from this. Nothing but frost dermits. Nothing but frost dermits. It, the game just seeks to torture me, man. It really does. It's time. Let me hear the new, let me hear the music. Why does murder have to be such a jam, dude? <sighs> uh, anyways. Oh, 
Oh, such a bop. I'm good at the video game, I promise. Here's another one. I think next round will be uh nothing. Oh dude, I get to I get to voice scared Mo. Finally. No, maybe the bushes were here. I'm so I feel so fucking gaslit right now. I don't know why I'm so fixated on these bushes. <laughs> I'll come in here and yell at you. Please do. I probably deserve it. I've killed so many frost hermits and I feel horrible, man. <laughs> I feel horrible. I'm dead inside. My favorite fucking monster in the game, and I've had I've just been slaughtering it. I've been slaughtering it to a hell of a jam, but I'm slaughtering them. Can I please? There we go. Uh, it's slowed down right now, Cringe Ninja, but I do want you to hear this song. Just imagine it like a little faster, and that's what I was jamming out to earlier. <laughs> it's also good to see you, my guy. Always happy to have you here. This is what happens when you're like at the last five monsters you need to kill for an area. This song starts playing and every time you're closer it gets slower and slower and slower. It's such a bop. Yeah, I was out and about for Pokemon Go stuff, that's why I wasn't in here early. That's fine, dude. Ugh. Yeah, I- y'all are allowed to have lives. Contrary to popular belief, I don't think everybody should dedicate themselves entirely to me. Only like 50, only like 50, 75%. The other 25% is used for keeping yourselves sane so you don't leave the cult. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh, this is such a good song though, for real. I feel like I've literally been killing nothing but Frost Hermits. I guess it keeps you on low XP monsters, so you don't overlevel. I found it's a lot easier to deal with Frost Hermit's attacks if I don't move up and down. That's gonna get even slower. Did you catch any good shit on Pokemon Go, though, uh, Cringe? Hope you got some shinies. Or something. Alright, that's it for this room. Flowey. Wow, kid, you mean business. What's that, 15? 16? Very impressive. Alright, let's go see Mo- oh, Alright, hold on, I need to go get, uh, better ammo. Hello there. I read something in a book once. <laughs> it said, run the fuck away from you. All right, let's get these. Get the shit. Take the ice pellets, obtain the ice pellets. Load the ice pellets, your gun is now cold to the touch. Whoa, what the fuck? Hee <laughs> hee, hi. Are you here to bring me home? Did Mikey send you? Huh? Huh? Doesn't matter because I won't go. Bro, what the fuck? Did I just find a fun? Did I just find a fun event? Did I just find a fun value event? I just suddenly got lost. Instead of take, talking face to face, he sends a little weird guy to stare at me. <laughs> OMG, sorry for calling you weird. I tend to bully small children when they get moody. Might be. Mikey never paid any attention to me, you know? I wanted to teach him a big old lesson, so I'm playing hard to get by wandering into the woods and maybe dying. I think he'd care a lot if that happened. Standing out here in this frigid climate starts to get to you. Start to make you question things. Like, who's Mikey? I've never met a Mikey in my life. Wouldn't it be funny if I did, though? I'd, like, be his GF and he'd, like, ignore me and I'd, like, wander into the woods. I'm so lost. Hehe. <laughs> Whoopsie. You think there's a search squad looking for me? Um, gee, that would make me feel so special. What if they send out a helicopter? Ah, you probably don't know what a helicopter is. It's okay, I won't bore you with that forbidden knowledge. This is the ninth time you talk to me. Fun! I think we made fast friends, don't you? 
Wait, how fast can you run? Because I'm a speed demon. Aw, uh, you know what? I'd race you, but I kind of stopped believing in myself recently. Fun Wanda fact. They don't let me in most restaurants anymore. Oh, shoot. Did I just name drop? OMGGGG, that's so like me. Hmm, hmm. I'm getting a Wanda signal. Gasp. I only have one more thing I can say to you after this. No. Well, better make it count. One, two, three, four. Rats. No one ever told me what comes after four. Let me start over. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, that was an interesting event. Huh. What are the chances of that happening? I just ran into something interesting. <laughs> yeah, perfect fungus because it was it was a spotlight hour. They give out one like one k stardust. So for the last hour, so I got two k catch because I doubled stardust. Nice. I do know enough about go to be able to understand what was said. Be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's how the world works. In case you're doing great, keep it up, buddy. <laughs> uh, but nah, uh, glad to hear that, buddy. Uh. I, I've tried to get back in the go a few times. Oh, shit. Okay. There's still monsters here. Weird. I've tried to get back in the go a few times, but it's just never stuck. You use startups all the mons I stocked up every day. Yeah, I know you use startups to level up mons. It was more so all the other stuff. <laughs> little bonuses. I think what killed my last Pokemon Go run was I just ran out of Pokeballs and I didn't f care to buy myself more because I wasn't getting that invested into it because I'm poor. So like, yeah. <laughs> uh, here, here at the next ad break, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to take more Tylenol for my sick Spotlight Hour is basically one Pokemon is the only thing that spawned for a set time. <laughs> Bro, it's so freaky to think about in nature. What's this? A new customer? Bam! Who am I? Nobody you know, you know? Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on the smoke can only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So you want this here beverage? No, you don't. Liquid so last season. Solid pot. Season before. You want them revolutionary? Mo, can you like be scared of me? I mean, I guess he's... I mean, I guess he's so used to cold calling and other shit that he's probably like not. I see some time to think about it. I'll always be a fruit for your <laughs> I said business. <laughs> I, I guess he's just so used to like cold calling and cold approaching people. This man has no fear left in his system. My god, I feel that. I'm gonna just buy everything. Great choice, you enjoy that pop, buddy. I'd love to keep some pops and all that. Until next time. Mo out. Get back here, you bastard. <laughs> no cone comes to see if you're made of fire, you aren't. No cone, ow, ow, hurt. Fuck. Ow. There we go. How many more? One more. The snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. You open the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. Okay, so that's still the same. Uh... We started with Frost Hermit, it's ending with Frost Hermit. Nintendo 64. Oh my god. Remember that meme? Don't you feel old? 
You feel better than Frost Hermit, that's for sure. One more? Let's see what he says. Yeah, he's not afraid of me. No code, no like stranger. I think that's it. I think that's it. God damn it. How many? How many more? <laughs> How slow does the music have to get? <laughs> Too many. You know what? What would Sonic say to this music? You're too slow. You still got like 30 left. <laughs> Are you looking up the genocide total? Oh, no, nope, never mind. But nobody came. <laughs> I'm like, are you looking up the genocide total in the middle of stream? <laughs> How many I have to kill for every area? Bro, I ain't got no mail. But nobody came. I ain't got no mail. They don't want it. They don't want to deliver to me anymore. Wow, same effect. This place went from pleasant to eerie real quick. That must have been a new record or something. On the bright side, you won't have to pay for coffee anymore. <laughs> uh, there we go. Nobody's here. Can't tell if it's the temperature or atmosphere, but wow, sure is cold. You should get a move on. Uh, rubber ammo. There we go. Let's go check up here. And even the fire guy's gone. It's a regular torch. We are on a mission. What's this on the ground? That was not here. There's a single mitten on the ground. It seems as if it was recently discarded. Spooky. Yeah, dude, this is... It's just like this in Mace Undertale 2 to an extent. Just everything's like this. Oh, God. This whole situation is terrible. It's too depressing to play music now. I hope everyone's okay. We were in the middle of a set when everyone started leaving. At first I thought our music was bad, but then they said there was danger. Surely it's not what I think it is. Not again. This is a strange turn of events. I wonder where everyone ran off to. I don't suppose you know. Space heater. The cooler fall honey ready for drinking. Yum. You don't suppose I can interact with much. Yeah, nah, man. Everyone's running away. Even the froggets ain't here anymore, man. Even the froggets fucking mailed. Hold on. Really had to sniff through my nose. Everyone's gone. And I'm already failing. Damn it. This bridge is a pain in the ass. There we go. That bridge is just that one knock from Adventure Time. <laughs> it really is. Ugh. I still have to do the puzzle. This isn't, this isn't Gino of you. Yeah, 
get it. I, I use the word Gino in, in, instead of the word Kino. Because that's not outdated slang at this point. Amidst all these gats and skibbities. There we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> Can't tell if it's the temperature or the atmosphere, but wow, sure is cold. You should get a move on. It's time. Now we really get to kill Meryl's wife. Oh my goodness, did you get left behind? Might I ask your name? Hmm, not on the resident list. Um, see, this is tough. I can't leave my post. I'm supposed to wait here until this bad person comes. The troublemaker who calls all this, you know? But I can't just leave you to find the others alone. You're a child. I could never do that. Okay, how about we hurry and catch up with the others? Then I come back and no one will ever know. Ready? Hey, what are you doing? There's no need for fighting now. We have to get going if we want to catch up. Come on. Ow, what are you doing? I understand if you're scared, but you have to trust me. I'm with the Royal Guard. It's my job to make sure you're safe. Oh, they're real. They're doing papyrus, but worse. <laughs> they're doing papyrus, but worse. <laughs> and I don't mean like worse as in quality. I mean worse as in how I'm feeling. I'm about to sit here and beat the shit out of this poor woman as she begs for me to just go to safety. Uh, what does act look like? Apologize, ignore. Wait, I should check. I should check the check. Scatterbrained. There's an instant kill with her too, bro. How much? How much shit have you like done in? How <laughs> have you just been doing Undertale yellow research while I haven't been looking? Is that what you've been doing? Sound of the chilled wind surrounds you. Ow, 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 look, I get it. You're scared and you don't know where everyone is, but you can't take that on me. If you go around hurting everyone all the time, well, no one will ever help you. Uh, I'm in pain. I'm in physical pain. Hey, snap out of it. Do you do this to everyone who tries to be nice to you? You, you do. Don't you? You're the one they're all running from, aren't you? I, I don't know what to do. I've been so naive. You're just a kid. Well, I'll be honest with you. My handbook says nothing about this specific situation. However, I do know that something similar has happened before. They put a stop to that, so it's up to me to put a stop to this. Oh shit. Here we go. Martlet genocide. Martlet is nursing her wounds. So you can take a hit. I'm sorry to hear that. That means I'll just have to hit harder. Oh, this music goes hard. You know, I'm almost glad you attacked me when you did. If you had waited, I might have told you where the others went. But now you'll never find them. The music gives me papyrus vibes. I mean, she's kind of the papyrus of the game, so... She even likes puzzles. <clears throat> People have started shipping papyrus in her, by the way. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Searching for a guidebook for first aid procedures. This whole thing is a tragedy, and the saddest part is that there was no need for it. 
They say monsters are made of love, hope, and compassion. Who would have agreed to help you in a heartbeat? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, alright. Understood. Gotcha. Don't let this guard's flashy front get to you. I know a weak old monster when I see one. I want to actually- I don't want to take the cheap way out. I, I want to actually fight Martlet. I'm not a pussy. Alright, let's go. So you can take a hit. I didn't get hit though. You sucked. There we go, I'm getting better at my timing. I never thought there was an ins I thought there was an insta kill but can't find it online. Maybe if I apologize and she spares. That's probably how it happens. That's how it was in base Undertale. I will say be wary of spoiling things for me, Sean, because I am going into this blind. <laughs> that was fine. That was just like, okay, she has an instant kill, but like don't actually spoil things for me, please. <laughs> Ain't gonna spoil. All right, all right. I don't know much more than you, I promise. Yeah, all right, that's good. God, that guitar solo goes so hard. And look at the stuff. I've just seen stuff online. Gotcha, gotcha. But you wouldn't understand that. You're no monster. I know what you are. And it's something I fear is much worse. It's that hat of yours that gives it away. You're a human through and through. I want you to know, I don't hate your kind. There's gotta be nice humans out there, or at least somewhat reasonable humans. I hope that was you. God. Bro. That one was brutal. All right, let's go again. There we go. For some reason going in a circle just seems to work really well for this one. Never mind. So you can take a hit. This attack is brutal. Cause I can never quite tell where the feathers are going to go. God. 
God, I should have just stayed to the left. Ugh. All right, I really need to focus. Can't you slow it down? I can slow down my, uh, my heart. I can't slow down the attacks. There we go. I very much enjoy that she just yeets her book stance her book to stance up. Oh yeah, it's great. She's being an absolute badass here and I'm all for it. You know, I know I hate your kind. Bruh, that attack. Ugh. There's a lot of instances where I'm just really put up against a wall or rock in a hard place with that one. Really trying to make sure I got the timing good on my attacks. Actually trying to respond to the attacks properly. thing is a tragedy and the saddest part is there's no need for it god god this attack is brutal i genuinely have no idea how to know which where it's coming from That one with the triple like feathers is just like it's pure reaction.
More book eats. You are you are eating up those book eats. You're eating that up. Man's gonna go to the fucking library and just start throwing shit out the window. <laughs> and stands up just like Martlet when <laughs> when they come to put a stop to him. Damn it. Fuck. Oh man, this is uh, this is this runs already fucking over. <laughs> I have no good healing items for what my health is. God damn it. God, I just want to know what direction they're gonna go. You could play as Burn Monk in D&D and be Martlet using your feathers to start. You actually could. Are you gonna, are you gonna make, are you gonna make Martlet in D&D &D now, Sean? Cringe, is that what you're gonna do? Oh, and I put my hoodie on because I was getting a little cold and now I'm getting a little hot. Uh Martlet's kicking my ass. She's kicking my ass. I can make anyone D and D. I mean true. In fact, I enjoy doing it. Do Soroba. Do Flowey. Flowey would be a challenge. Do Flowey. I want to see you do Flowey. <laughs> Which version of Flowey? Do normal Flowey. <laughs> All right, let's go back again. Fuck. We're entering silent gamer mode, kinda. Alright, got out of that one unscathed. Next is the triple ones, right? Yep. Ah. Uh. And her attacks do so much damage too. <laughs> That's what makes it worse. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay, for that attack, don't go to the edges. That's a death sentence. Do not go to the corners or anything. And yeah, just react faster, I guess. Maybe I could drink the coffee before that attack. Here we go again. Fuck. All right, here comes this one.
That was really close. And like, I've tried to look for a pattern on that one too, and I just can't find one. All right, that one worked out. All right, time for this attack. Dude. At least I got past that attack. You're still trying? Pretty determined there, aren't you? Luckily, so am I. Okay. <laughs> Understood. Under fucking stood. Jesus Christ. Uh, I could see the safe zone. It was just... You know. <laughs> After this one, we might have to go to ad break because that's coming up soon. Lovely. I'm too bad at the game, so we have to do that shit. Alright, flawless victory there. on that one. Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Please let me come out unscathed just this once. Let's get bad rolls on that dude. Found it. Found the safe spot. Oh shit. Didn't know we were doing Undyne. I didn't know we were gonna go into Undyne. <laughs> Uh, the after images really fuck with me too. All right, since ads are coming up, we're gonna go ahead and just go to that real quick, just so we don't get interrupted in the middle of the fight. Y'all go ahead, do what I'll need to do, get drinks, get water, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and we'll be back in just a minute. So with all that being said, bye for now.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break, same as always. We're just gonna get right back into the feud here. <clears throat> All right. There we go, I'm already feeling refreshed. Everyone knows once I come off break, I become unstoppable. You're fucked, Martlet. This is gonna be the run. I will say Martlet's fight is but like I'm dying like uh, very frequently, but Martlet's probably like mostly one of the most fair fights I've seen. There's only like that one attack with like the triple uh, feathers that like kind of irks me. Everything else is like perfectly fair. I just suck. Oh shit. There we go. There's a nice 60. It's literally just take a shot in the dark. Oh god, I I almost got hit. Just I pick bit. All right, this attacks a little. This attacks a little mean. Because sometimes you're just like you dodged it, but you picked the wrong place to dodge. So that that's like two attacks. Oh god. And then on nine. Um, hmm. I think I know how to dodge that one. I think I know how to dodge that one now. So about that one being the run. <laughs> Ignore what I said. I BRB. No more of them, cringe. Take all the time you need. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Need nothing but good hits. And now for the worst attack. God, I fucking hate this. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know where the like they, I don't know where the feathers are gonna go. They're just gonna go. The feathers just go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like this one, it can be random, but it's like such a loose kind of random that I'm alright with it. Just stay to the bottom, you're gonna be fine. And this one, like, you see where the feathers are gonna go. It gives you very clear indication. And the circle maneuver is, like, very effective. And then you just have this shit. All right, this one's about to fuck me up. Like that. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's brutal, dude. It's just brutal. <laughs> Sometimes you just get really bad RNG on that one and you just have to cope. They hate attacks like that, dude. Alright, that was just me being bad. First attack incoming. Wait a minute. I might have figured out how to telegraph that one. I think I might have figured that one out. It's subtle, but I think I might have figured it out. There we go. Never mind, it was not. I was wrong. Never mind, it's completely random. <laughs> I cannot figure that attack out. This attack's just difficult, but it's not 
cheap. Genuinely something in my eye. This is not the time. Oh, that was such a long attack. Oh no. Uh, why won't you back down? I'm out of healing items. hoping like maybe her attacks would like become less mm, a lot less like brutal but like just ah uh, she just repeats her patterns and I put patterns in air quotes for some of those attacks That was just me being dumb. Mm. Yeah, that was me also being dumb. This is not the run. Like, if it was, if I could just get rid of the one where she blows you into the ground and that attack, I could do this. The triple feathers and the blowing debris. Those are the two attacks that are fucking me the most. They just take so much damage during those ones specifically. Yeah, I haven't. 
I've gotten her to re-loop her uh, patterns. She ran out of attacks and she looped her patterns, but I can't like beat her because of a few attacks. Why did I even get hit by on that one? I just ran into that one. I take full responsibility. God, I'm lucking out so much on so many of these. Holy shit. Is that a sign? Please let me a sign. Any hits I take on that one are entirely a skill issue, by the way. <laughs> There it is. That's that's exactly why that, this one pisses me off. I was just fucked there. Bruh! <laughs> I literally did that optimally. Kind of. Thinking on it, I guess I could have been close to the hammer, but why would I? Ugh. <laughs> uh. That is just me being bad. Ugh. Bartlett, I need you to, like, not be good at fighting, please. Fuck. I was so close to getting a hit on that one. I'm mad. Oh boy. Now for the gauntlet. Oh my god. Pop, pop. Mm. Mm. 
Damn it. Alright, that was me being mad. That was me being really bad. That was me being fucking horrid. Jesus Christ. Ugh, Jesus. It's just those few attacks, dude. I could be so fucking good at this fight if it weren't for just those, like, two attacks. The only other one I take damage on, like, consistently, like, I fully admit that's just me a skill issue on my part. The other ones, it's just, like, I just feel like I'm being told, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck your efforts, fuck your dodging. <laughs> You're dodging wrong. Like I'm getting worse. I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here, I hate it here. I hate it here, I hate it here. I hate it. Oh my god. So don't go too close to the edge. Understood. This one's like more frustrating than Saroba. Simply just to the fact that I know I'm perfectly capable of dealing with all of her attacks. With Saroba, I felt like I not just felt like I knew I was just going until it just worked out. I knew I was just going until I got a, got a good run and I knew it was going to happen eventually. Here, it's like, I know I'm skilled enough to deal with most of these attacks. And then there's just those few that are just bullshit. So I'm getting like more mad with this one. Because I know I can, like, I, I know I'm doing good here for the most part. It's just those few instances where I just don't have a choice. Well... I did choose to play that game. I am getting worse. I am very clearly getting worse. I'm just going to just get up and just walk for a second, just breathe and get my bearings again, because I'm getting worse. I'm very clearly getting worse.
Okay. All right. Things on correctly. Okay, breathe. All right. Let's actually go. Let's do this. Hopefully. I just need I just need to get away from the screen for like a minute <laughs> and just like collect myself. Cuz I'm getting mad. <laughs> I am actually getting mad. Come on. That's exactly what I'm talking about, dude. Like, you're just pushed into a corner and it's completely a fucking coin flip if you won or not. Wasn't paying attention on that one. I lucked out there. <sighs> All right. I get a few shots. He's only at half health. panic too much on that one. That's why I say that one's entirely skill issue. It gives me all the information I need to dodge it. So I know that when I fail, it's my fault. <laughs> I know when I get hit by that one, it was entirely my fault. I panicked. I, I moved around randomly. I got hit. I accept that one. I like that one. Because there's no, there's like no obfuscation of what I'm supposed to do there. So I don't even, like, I'm not even, I will never complain about that one, ever. 
I'll go, damn, I got hit, but like I will never look at that attack and be like, that attack is bullshit, because it's not. It's the furthest thing from it. I'm bad at the game on that one. I'm starting to get better at the triple uh, feather one, but like the debris one still fucks me hard. I hit the ones here do so much damage. <laughs> it's almost like I'm a murderer and she wants to get rid of me. It's almost like I kill people. Ah. The debris doesn't even fall in a consistent way. Sometimes it falls to the left, sometimes it falls to the right. We had two of those long speaker things. One fell right, one fell left. That is literally just what happened. So I can't even use how they look as a means to know whether I should dodge one way or another or not. Because I've been looking for that, man. I'm, I'm taking every bone of me and thrown with those attacks. attacking if there is an easy way to deal with you i am not taking it i will not because i know i can do this and i'm way too prideful for this shit damn it all right that was Honest to God, I just want to die right now. That was a horrible one for the intro. I do good on that attack.
Oh, fuck you. That is actually fucking stupid. That is actually fucking stupid. You know what? Let me just... Look, man, if the game wants to throw bullshit at me... All right, yeah. No easy out. And I'm gonna have a harder fight. <laughs> Watch me win this one. I'm gonna give it a go, man. I'm gonna give it a go. trying to think of better ways to go about that one because I kind of just go in a circle and I know that isn't effective. That's a really shit run anyways. I'm not ending stream until I at least beat Martlip. I'm kinda in that state where I was in Soroba where I kinda just felt like I just had to keep throwing my head into a wall until things work out. And I really hate when that happens. It's like I said, like, I know I can do most of these attacks. It's just those few where I'm just kind of fucked. And now I'm just kind of blindly throwing my fucking directions around.
I need to be a lot more deliberate on that one. Next time I'm gonna try just reacting to the reticle and nothing else. Because I do take a lot of damage on that one because I'm just reckless about it, but that one's not like a bullshit one. So like, I really should make an effort to like get better at that one. I think that's probably the best thing I can do right now. Just really make sure I'm so good at the normal ones that the bullshit ones barely make a difference. I think that should be my ideal. Strategy's results vary depending on the bullshit ones a bit still though. Damn it. Ay ay ay. It's very tough. I'm kind of just in that state where I just like, I look, I just, th like the entire time, even when I'm doing like the normal tax, I'm just thinking about the bullshit ones and how much I'm going to get fucked over by them. And it like makes me worse on the ones that are perfectly manageable. It sucks, dude. There we go. Please, good luck on this one. I just want one good, good run with these bullshit ones. Thank you, game. 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 Oh. I'm very frustrated.
I'm very, very frustrated. trying to stay in here guys I really fucking am but this is really aggravating it is like this is how I I don't the fact that Martla is making me feel more hopeless than Soroba I'm just I can't believe that it's like, it's, the last time I felt like this was when I did the boss gauntlet in Sonic Frontiers, The Final Horizon. Like, I feel like I'm trying to perfect parry here, like I did in there. I feel like I'm out here trying to perfect parry. The Titans. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Cause I'm just sitting here like I know I know what I have to do. I like with every single attack. I know what I have to do with like all these other things. I know how to do the thing. I know I can do the thing. But I feel like I just have to get lucky. It's not just I feel like I have to get lucky. And just kind of sort of avoid the attacks. It's like I can deal with most of this and I'm just fucking defenseless against some things like that the debris attack is like mmm I almost feel like I want to get rid of the debris attack more than triple feathers because the triple feathers I've had good I've had good ones with that I've had good ones with the triple feathers but the fucking debris dude I'm just told no I'm just told no <laughs> like oh you went left instead of right oh too bad so sad you have to not get hit by the teacup oh, oh you literally had no choice but to go all the way over here too bad so sad the debris falling that way like there's a sort of method to the feathers there just isn't for the debris there just is nothing for the debris. The debris is sheer fucking luck. And I'm actually just sitting here like, I could have such a good run. And then I just get to that attack. And I'm just told to bite it. It, it, it sucks. It, it genuinely actually sucks. <laughs> Uh, and I feel hopeless. I'm feeling hopeless right now, boy. Uh. Twelve minutes till next ad. We're gonna... One more run. Then we'll go to next ad. God, I've spent an hour just fighting from fucking Martlet, dude. It's frustrating. This one's just frustrating. If there was just a, like even the slightest way to telegraph it, even if the different items fell certain d d certain ways, which some of them do, like um s anything that's like pointy and like would, like it would stick in the ground like a screwdriver, those like will fall a specific way. Even the hammer fell a specific way. Like it's safer to be closer to the hammer. But, like, shit like the saw or the stereo, like, they're just gonna fall a certain way and you have no fucking choice. It's, mmm. It's just frustrating, dude. It's frustrating to know you can do this. You're just being held back by bullshit. Alright, one more attempt till next ad break. Let's cross our fingers. A 
Let's go, Martlet. Yeah, next ad break. Oh my god. If I can't beat it in the next session, then we're just gonna end stream for the night, because I'm not feeling pretty good right now, so... <laughs> Y'all go ahead, take the break you need to. God knows I need to right now. And we're gonna be back in just a minute. Bye for now.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break. Uh, I know, weak will more than I see one. Are we sure it ain't me? <clears throat> also, I was doing some thinking about why I'm hating this fight more than Soroba. And I think I figured it out. Because even though Soroba is, like, a lot of, like, random bullshit go, it's, like, a, like, really easy random bullshit go. Like, all of Soroba's individual attacks had pretty, like, solid ways to dodge them. And it was just, like, combining all those, like, relatively easy dodges into, like, that whole mess of a pattern she would conjure up. And it was, like, relatively possible, depending on what you were getting. But here? Like, it's like, you just don't have an option. Like, all of the individual things that Soroba did had an option. But here, even if I dodge, like, the initial drop down of, like, say, some of that debris... It could just bounce on over to where I am, and I just don't have a choice. So I think that's why Martlet is, like, frustrating me more. Because it's not that her fight is more random, it's that her randomness is more unfair. There's less ways to deal with her randomness. And I think that's why I'm just, like, feeling so fucking dejected here. Because I just, I, I look at some of, like, I just think about some of those instances where I died to, like, one of those two attacks. And I just groan, knowing that there was just so little I could do. Ugh. But okay. One more session. One, one more, one more round. If I can't do it in the next hour, we end stream and we come back to this on Thursday. All right. Take a sip of water. Mm. Gonna hit fight. We're gonna go. All right. I'm a stray into that one. Did I just figure that one out? get dejected yet <laughs> don't get dejected yet you're gonna be dealing with us for an hour 
at least give yourself some hope. I mean, you've dealt with it for like three, but... One more hour. Yeah. <gasps> oh. oh my god, that hurt. Once I took once I took two fucking hits. Once I took two fucking hits on that attack, I knew it was over. Once I once I hit like three hits, I was like, it's over, it's over, it's over. Yep, they're all all the feathers are at the top. Where am I at the top? Oh, I, I, I was not supposed to know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to know. That's all I'll check. Uh Thank you, Cringe. 
Fuck. That was close, dude. Okay, you win. I'm done attacking, so please, lower your weapon. Thank you. 
My handbook says this thing. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. I've never been sure what that applied to, but I think that time is now. You're not off the hook, Clover. Unless you decide right now to change your ways. The Royal Guard will find you. It could be me or someone much, much worse. How your life plays out from this moment is up to you. I don't know what the humans taught you, but a child your age shouldn't be corrupted by violence. Please. Please choose wisely. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. There's a notebook on the counter titled My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. Oh my god. Fuck that fight, dude. Two attacks. Two fucking attacks caused me that much grief. I cannot believe that, dude. Holy shit. Dude, you should have seen, like, the fucking... If you could feel how my heart sank when I saw just a sliver of her HP left. If you could see... If you could feel that, you would have known the sheer level of dread I felt in that moment. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I need therapy. I need therapy after that shit. That was awful. That was genuinely, like, the worst fight I've had in this game. Axis does not come close. Soroba does not come close. That was fucking torturous, and it was because of two goddamn attacks. That felt like fighting Wyvern in, in Frontiers, dude. That's what it felt like. It felt like I was just praying to God. Congrats, pal. You beat your first royal guard. Though I'm not sure how she got promoted past Feather Duster. Have to give her some credit, though. This boat looks like your ticket out of the cold. If you follow this current, you'll be living up in Hotland before you know it. There's no time to waste. See you later, Clover. Oh my god. Get on the boat? Yes. Please. Oh my god. Fuck that fight. I love Martlet, but fuck that fight. Get rid of the debris attack, dude. I love that fight. That fight is amazing. I'm not joking. <laughs> Get rid of the debris. I'll, t I'll, t I'll stay with the triple feathers. I'll stay with the triple feathers. I can deal with those. Get rid of the debris. Get rid of the debris attack. That fight is amazing. Uh, hi, Flowey. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I, I am literally, I am literally Clover's face right now. This is fucking... I'm literally, like, literally, this is me. This is me after fighting Martlet. Old chest. Nothing in it this time? Ain't her bearing a strange symbol. Okay. Howdy, Clover. Sorry about all this. I'm usually pretty good at judging where to go next. The rafts must have been trapped set up by that guard. You got smarter, though. I'm impressed. Even so, you look pretty beat up. Let me take care of that. <laughs> the fucking jump! <laughs> the jump from 50 to 168! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Oh, that's, that, 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 that's, that's gold. That's gold right there. Uh... 
Oh my god. Well, what, what's the dialogue for the cart? The mine cart. We back in the mine. Some boxes. Dude, honestly, the fact that he's running like this with like his hands, like, like his hands aren't even like going above chest level. Like that, that that's like the like this is kind of like a girl, like like sort of like a girly walk. Like like with how like if I were to like try and imitate this in real life, I would be like having my hands to the side like swaying. <laughs> uh, so not sure how this is supposed to be intimidating. Or, or it's like a really awkward, like, closed-fisted, like... <laughs> oh. This is not strike fear. Let me go ahead, check if there's encounters in this room. Oh my god. Please let that be the worst of it. Please let that be the worst of, like, RNG-based attacks. I'm begging. Time to kill Doom Buds. Time to take time to relieve some stress. Take my stress out some Doom Buds. There we go. There we go. Double trouble. Is there a unique check dialogue for normal enemies? Okay, there there isn't. I should have checked doll uh dolls. Uh check dialogue. That was my bad. On the right side I've gotten really good at doing the attack. Wiggle woggle. <sighs> There's the sand castle. Holy shit. You won. 14 XP and zero gold. Damn, already out, huh? I got no fucking items, dude. I have no fucking healing. But nobody came. There's an encounter. Having fun there, buddy. <laughs> uh, I fucking hate dune buds. Thank you. This is cathartic. I like that. I like that I get to kill dune buds to relieve stress. This makes me happy. This pleases the alien dragon. There we go. I might be able to about battery because I don't want to be going too late because I don't want to like infringe on my roommate's sleep or anything pushing it past 11 is already kind of going all too hard so we'll see we'll see how I feel Oh 
Another one down. Come on, do that attack. There we go. Three Bs. That's what I like to see. Sucks to be dying, don't it? Sucks to have the most one well, the most annoying and obtuse fucking spare condition in the world, doesn't it? Alright, that's that room done. Let's go down here. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There's no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, okay? And steal from the brother at the mines, okay? The ex was here before I arrived, okay? Get off my case, please. The paint is still wet. God, I really am just close right now after after dealing with that fight, dude. I'm a broken man. A broken man who never wants to see RNG again in his life. Almost there. Yeah. There ain't a guy here using it to cool off anymore. Always a treat to see your gunslinging skills. Let's get you saved. Alrighty, what's up here? We got Mo. We got Mo out here selling to genocidal maniacs. Question questionably ethical salesman. Same as always. Uh, bam, wham, shang -a -lang. It's Mo time, and you know what they say. There's no time like Mo time. Wait. You're that, uh, that human from Snowden. There's some pretty nasty rumors going on about you. But come on, we've all committed a few felonies in our time, right? <laughs> For me, a pinch of petty theft, a sprinkle of tax fraud, that crime. For you, disturbing the peace, battery, several homicides, allegedly. Who's got proof, right? Gossip, has got a gossip. So, you're probably thinking, what's this handsome cat selling? First off, I ain't a cat, but I do appreciate the compliment. I had this whole spiel about water, but hey, for my best customer, I'll skip right to the premium inventory. Chicken. Ice tea, baby. It's like the sequel to water. So, this is the part where you spend that G or may or may not belong to you. Hey, I ain't here to judge. I'm here to live. So here's what I got, 20 G. Great choice, drink up. Man, welcome back. Here's what I got. Great choice, drink up. <laughs> uh, I like that he's actually got dialogue now. The alphabet must have 25 letters now because I'm fresh out of tea. So sure we'll meet again. Thanks for believing in me. Mo, out. So did you phase through me? Uh, I love that. I love that he's just like, huh, should I assist in genocide of my people for money? <laughs> I fucking love Mo. Speaking of snakes, that's a proposition real. Uh, calm down, mate. We can work something out. Only thing we're working out is where we're going to be burying you later. Uh, double trouble, double target practice.
Oh. Kill the innocent. God, it really made me dead inside. <laughs> Partly really made me dead inside, dude. All my energy gone. Not even Mo could bring it back. I'm a dead man. Even the tumbleweed should fear me. Bullshit. Alrighty. Cacti- No, I feel bad killing Cacti. Oh well. <sighs> Cacti sheds a tear in a few needles. You won. But at what cost? It helps something. I don't remember. I didn't read what he said. There's another one down. More dune buds, please. I like killing them. I like killing them because they annoyed me. It sucks, man. I'd like to like Doom Buds. It's just, I have so many bad memories of them in Pacifist just being obnoxious. They're cute. They have cool attacks. This one's really cool. Just some of the other attacks are obnoxious. And it's really it's really annoying when there's two of them. So I have to spend four turns sparing this one thing. All about dodging some mildly difficult patterns. Another one down. Watch it. Um, sorry, didn't mean to block the path. You take care, I guess. Yeesh. I uh, gotta go. Got some flint. East mines. Ready, we're in here. Junk sits in the cubbies. The abandoned pickaxe. Take it. Yes. Finally, some good fucking armor. <laughs> Part of why Martlet was so hard was I just didn't have good armor on. I still had the feather. Do you know where everyone went? Feeling mad anxious right now. Either my coworkers are playing a surprise birthday party for me or... No, it's fine. I'm fine. That would be silly. Heh. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Please leave me to my corner of worry. There we go. Gax broke. Wouldn't it be cool if when the elevator uh, reaches the top, the guy doesn't get to leave? Like it, it, like it just shows off. The, ed the elevator, but Clover's the only one who exits. That'd be cool. Damn. 
case of water, swim. Nolly, monsters around here sure have it out for you. How could they keep attacking a poor human so willingly? We can't have that, not at all. Check. There we go. Oh, it's time. It's time for the bop. This makes me happy. Okay, I got my energy back. <laughs> Enemy retreating got my energy back. Let's go. I can't wait to be broken in the next uh, 20 minutes or something. It'll take more than that to take me down. Uh, I fully expected stream to end after Martlet. No. I had it in me to at least clear out the West. E the. Uh, I had it in me to at least clear out the Wild East. We'll see what awaits us, potentially. But. But no, nah, I I'm still going after Martlet. Barely, but I'm still going after Martlet. Wait, don't go. Technique is lost in a sea of mixed emotions. Did this day get any worse? There we go. Anyone else? Please? Damn it. No puzzles. No nothing. Didn't hurt to have it. Let's see what's around here. Damn, y'all still here. Y'all go down with the ship, huh? Oh, hello. If you need a place to hide out right now, you can stay here. Would hey, a youngin to get like you to get in trouble. I help a little more, is all right. Need to go to Wild as soon as I can. It has been zero, zero days without a workplace accident. A plain cactus. I heard some rumblings of danger back west. Sent everyone home for now. Waiting to see if it was a false alarm or not. Sure hope everything's okay. I don't see many enemies roaming about. Once you encounter a shum who's boss. the minecart let's go Ugh. no music man it's dreary. Everything is. That's how genocide be.
Don't seem to be any monsters about. Really trying. I am really trying. Ah, uh, there ain't nothing. Stale fruitcake. Take it. Got the fruitcake. Around a little longer. All right, nothing. Put some stuff in here. I get to fight him, I think. I hope I do. I would like to kill him. Howdy! Gee, would you look at that? I can almost see the king's castle from here. And by almost, I mean not at all. Monster shower my praise, but it's totally overblown. What they call Bonds Monster. But when the time you can reach out, take a soul. Does that sound nice? Yes? No? Come on, give me something. Fine. You're becoming harder and harder to read, you know that? A little too broody for my taste, too. <sighs> Just keep your eyes on the castle, okay? Okay. Anything in particular over here that's new? Piece of paper stapled. Alrighty. Bring him on. I want to see him. Or not. Or yes. Hello, bastard. Halt! I, El Bailador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. In your eyes, they tell a woeful tale. No, no, this will not do. We must liven this dismal atmosphere. It is time to dance. Even when you kill everyone, you cannot avoid the shitty rhythm game. You truly must find oneself to ignite the passion within. Let us duel. I want to see your spirit of fire. One, and two, and... Okay, maybe he can avoid it. Another roadblock. Another roadblock. Ah, that was much too simple. Let us try this. Then me glances around awkwardly. Come on, dance with me. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I am only trying to teach. Follow my lead. All right, I still can't get hit by his shit. You're getting annoyed by the music, so tell me about it. Ah, this is fun, right? Right. <laughs> Get this over with. I'm trying, bro. I want nothing more than to get him over with. Ah. I feel a little bad seeing him from. Ah. Are my act options out of curiosity? 
the air. I fucking hate you. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I was only trying to bring joy, but... Our attitude to the art of dance is clear. Damn it, you made me feel bad for him. <laughs> you made me feel bad for El Bailator. <laughs> and I fucking hate his ass. Uh. Howdy. Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour, a bunch of slackers. Damn, we can't sit on the swing in genocide. Uh, this one's gonna suck a little bit. <sighs> Rosa approaches from the flower bed, twisting a flower in her hand. Just gotta hold on. Rosa tries to stay strong. Then he comes to share his pain. Love increased. Nobody came. There you are. I shouldn't have fled like I did. You kept going, kept destroying lives. This isn't self-defense like I once assumed. You're on a mission. But this warped sense of justice, it won't bring them back. I have reservations about the king's business just like you. But you don't have the context of those actions. I know you want to believe the best of others. But the fallen humans were fully pacifistic, and... The Royal Guard are searching for you. Let me make that clear. You're lucky I'm the one who found you, so please listen. I spent my life in skepticism, longing for eventual peace between our kinds. If you can believe it, I see goodness in you. Somehow I still hope you can turn it around. I can't apprehend you on my own. I already tried that. So please, stop this. Us monsters don't deserve... Wait. Just listen. I didn't want it to come to this, but I have to go. You won't get away with this, Clover. Ugh. Justice. Painting of a location you've already seen. It's somehow more dreary than normal genocide. You stare in the water and see someone. But nobody came. Can't even play Mew Mew Love Blaster, man. Can't even play Mew Mew Love Blaster. Love 
blocked. I see why Meryl likes Martlet so much now. Like, I liked Martlet, don't get me wrong. But, like, genocide, it's like, she's a lot more than just, like, a little caring bird brain, you know? Bake sale, bake sale. Come eat food. May buy spiders for spiders of spiders. All proceeds go to spiders in needs. Will you buy a spider donut? Trying to find 20. A one. Plus one HP for style. Gain one speed. It's dead. Dude, withered away. Some kind of ancient inscription. Sorry, I'm not home. One more try. It's somehow worse without the music. Barrels. They're asleep. You are, whoa, <laughs> talented for sure. You laid waste to this wasteland. This place definitely wasn't big enough for the both of you. Wishing well with a large amount of G inside. Take the G. It also attracted many monster rushes. Okay, so given the wild, given the wild east is next, I think it's best for us to end things off for tonight. So let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. I think I know who we're going for today. Same as always. Let's go raid the bunny. Because I got to keep my stream streak up. Blech. Alrighty. Go ahead, hit start raid. There we are. Uh, so, let's talk about what's happening tomorrow. Simply put, we're going to be doing art. We're going to be working on uh, Mila's uh, art for a bit. So I look forward to that. Hopefully we'll get it finished. Um, if I finish up the art, I might do more Undertale Yellow after the fact. Because it'll just be art. I mean, it's just going to be uh, flats. And it's just going to be flats and it's going to be shading. Because I finished the sketch. So we're going to see how that goes. So ideally we can get everything done and I would like to just jump straight back into Undertale Yellow. I really want to try and get this shit finished this week. So if the next fights are going to kick my ass, we're just going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> but yeah, hope y'all had a good time. Sorry for not doing genocide correctly in the first hour and a half, but you know how it is. And uh, yeah. I hope you all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one.